What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I was really excited about this SmackDown, this episode of SmackDown, because we knew The Rock and Roman Reigns were going to be together. And they were going to probably address some things on how they felt about everything that's been transpiring with Cody and, and how they feel like they should be the main event for this year's WrestleMania. There's some footage uh, before the show started of Rock getting into the arena. And then there was some footage of Roman getting to the arena. And he had a smile on his face. He even hugged Jimmy. We didn't know why, but we ended up finding out later on the show. Like, he was really happy to be there. You know, throughout the show, they're serving, um, look like lobster tail and, and fancy wine or fancy drinks to the Bloodline Rock locker room. You knew something was happening, but you didn't know what. And they waited to the end of the show to bring out Roman and The Rock. I will say during this segment, the commercial uh, placements, I did not like them. Felt like it kind of took away from the segment. You know, felt like it, things had to be rushed. But this was what we was all waiting for, to see what The Rock and Roman had to say. Roman comes out there first, does his normal stuff, acknowledge, acknowledge me, all this other stuff. And he basically comes out there and says, you know, to the, to the I think they were in Salt Lake, uh, Utah. He's basically like, you guys are a bunch of idiots, okay? You guys are a bunch of idiots. I, I want y'all to know that. Look, but tonight, try not to be a bunch of idiots because tonight, you know, we, we, we're, we're here to celebrate The Rock, this legendary moment. We don't need your stupid chants out there. They even started chanting Cody or whatnot. And, you know, Roman's basically trying to ignore it. He's like, man, we're not worried about him. We're, we're worried about what this legendary night is. And we didn't know what he was talking about. And he basically let it be known. Tonight is the night that The Rock joins the bloodline. And you heard the booze. Then the rock music hit. So now it's like, I guess you could say, I wouldn't say it's an initiation, but like in a, um, I guess you could say a ceremony for the rock joining the bloodline. Rock comes out there. And as soon as he comes out there, he took a normal, than, like he took a little bit normal than he usually does. But when he came out there, he had the Versace drip on with the shades. He brought it back to his OG days when he was wearing the Versace drip and the dress pants, the dress slacks with the shades on, except this time he's much more swollen and doesn't have uh, the hair. Oh, it was so, so cool to see that. The nostalgia drip, nice little Versace vest he had on shirt. That shit was clean. And he had the nice shades on. We, we, I guess you can say he brought the OG rock or for some people, Hollywood rock. And I, and it was, it was great to see. It's like a combination of his Hollywood persona, but, but with the OG drip, the OG swag, it was so cool to see. It just pulled on the nostalgia vibes. Oh my God. I marked out for that. Cause it was just cool to see. You hadn't seen this version of the rock drip wise and, Fucking forever, so it was cool to see that. He comes out there and whatnot. Crowd, there's some booze, there's some cheers. And what I liked about this promo from The Rock is he he fully leaned into his heel heel persona. He fully leaned into it. All the normal stuff that he was doing. Uh, he he healed it up for the crowd. He wasn't just like kind of pandering to the crowd, doing his normal catchphrases. He would add a little bit of disrespect to it. He said, you guys broke a record. You guys broke a indoor record and a, a record for the state of Utah. You know, crowd's going crazy. He said, you guys broke the record for the largest gathering of trailer park trash. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're here. We're here. Once he started cooking the crowd, I was like, okay, he's fully embraced the heel side of his persona. Hollywood rock, whatever you want to call it, he's back, and I'm loving every second of it. There was at one point he, he wanted to talk about Cody's story and, and what that meant. And before he can really 
dive into that. <laughs> he called somebody out in the crowd. He's like, shut your mouth, fatty, before I come over there and slap the herpes off your lips. I was like, oh, yeah, he's here. This is this is what I remember from Hollywood Rock right here. This is him insulting the crowd, disrespecting the crowd. He was basically disrespecting the people, everyone that was fans of Cody's, you know, fan of Cody, like talking. He was talking about him, making fun of him. He was fully embracing it. And his whole point was back to why what's the purpose of Cody's story again? What is the purpose? Because he lost to Roman. Like, he lost to Roman last year, and now he wants to face him again this year. What's the purpose of that? If that's the case, let me break. He, he wanted to break it down in sports terms. He's like, the Kansas City Chiefs just won. They just won the Super Bowl. How does it make sense for them to all of a sudden want to finish their story again and want, want a rematch? They lost, and they moved forward like men. Then he brought it to basketball terms. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Finished the Utah Jazz many years ago and crowd booing. But guess what? The Utah Jazz, they moved on and they, they you know, they, they went forward like men. They didn't sit there and want to finish their story. Like he's just going in on Cody, like finishing his story makes no sense. He, the point he's trying to make is he has robbed this year's WrestleMania of the Rock and Roman happening because him of him being selfish. And him not being able to be a man and, and take his losses, even though if you really want to break it down, he won the men's Royal Rumble match. So he kind of can do that. But that's neither here nor there. So that was the whole purpose of this promo, to really show he has healed it up, to disrespect the crowd, to disrespect the people. And even when he's doing his little catchphrases, he's always adding a little bit of that disrespect like, nah, y'all can't sing along with me. <laughs> uh, and one of the most noticeable lines that he talked about tonight, he was like, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure Cody remains a loser. And that was very important. When he said that, I was like, okay, now we're, we're, we got some idea of what Rock is going to be doing. He is going to do whatever he can to make sure Cody does not walk out this year's WrestleMania the champ, which means they are stacking the deck even higher. And it goes back to Seth Rollins promo where he's like, hey, I don't have a problem being the shield for you because you're going to need all the help you can get because now they have the rock. And now it's it's confirmed and it's official that that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be aligning himself to help Roman retain that championship because he said this is what it's about. Screw your uh, story, Cody. I'm gonna make sure you lose again, so we can get to the real story, me and and Roman. And as he's about to do his, if you smell, he stops. He said, "Nah, nah, nah. Sing along is over. Um, we're not doing that no more. You guys have messed it up. We're not doing that no more." And he hit the, "If you smell, with the bloodline is cooking," and he puts up, well. He, does put up a one but he puts up an l actually but <laughs> he puts up a one everyone puts up a one in the ring that's in there and he's aligned himself with the bloodline he is he's a part of the bloodline now so it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen here i love this heel persona of the rock we finally got it back and it's going to be some interesting television moving forward the question is what is Cody going to do? Because I love Seth Rollins, but Seth Rollins is banged up and he's going to need help. Now Cody has to go against Roman, Solo, Jimmy. He still has Paul Heyman on his side. And now The Rock, he's going against his, the odds are really stacked against him. He's going to need some help. Some of you guys in the chat, uh, in the live stream that we did for SmackDown, some of you guys were naming off some good people. Someone said, hell, call Stone Cold for some help. That would be interesting. And some of y'all even had a good idea of having some of the people that Roman has screwed over help Cody or 
even the odds in his favor, like a Sami Zayn, like a Seth Rollins, obviously, like a Kevin Owens or uh, a Randy Orton. Somebody said John Cena. That would be cool. He has history with The Rock and he has history with Solo. So that could be a good situation. Maybe he calls John Cena for some help. John Cena has endorsed him before he went away as the next guy up. So maybe he calls John Cena. That Oh, my God, that would be cool. Or Stone Cold. There's, there's plenty of ways you can go about it. The people that Roman has screwed over helping helping uh, Cody finally finish his story and, and to rid WWE of this, uh, this unstoppable force, everyone working together to stop the bloodline from overtaking WWE. You can do that. You can call in maybe The Rock. Uh, not The Rock, uh, Stone Cold or John Cena, some people that, you know, are not liking the way things are going in WWE, you can do that too. But it has to be someone else other than Seth because Seth can't help him by himself. There's no way that's going to work. So it's going to be very interesting to see how those things are going to play out going into WrestleMania. Also, there was a little segment of, of Grayson Waller talking to Paul Heyman. Uh, it was a little segment. I wanted to mention that reason why I say that, because I believe Cody and Seth are supposed to be on the Grayson Waller show, the Grayson Waller effect. So there may be some type of collusion going on there. And it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen. There's, they don't show that for no reason. So like I said, Cody's going to need some more help. Seth definitely going to, it's got to be more people than just Seth on his side. He's going to need some assistance. The question is, who will it be to help him? But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this segment? I know I did. It was cool to see this version of The Rock once again. And if this is The Rock we're going to be getting all the way into WrestleMania, sign me the fuck up. Uh, it just brings back the good old days, the good vibes. And I'm loving what they're doing right now. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still young, speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.